Python data structure list. List are ordered collection of elements stored inside opening and closing square bracket. Also, list are mutable. So in the first example, we are creating a list with a variable name L1 and we are storing different types of data inside it. So one is an integer, second is a float, third is a boolean and fourth is a string. And in the next statement, we are printing the list on the user screen. Accessing the element from the list. So if you want to assess individual element from the list, you can use indexing. If you want to assess multiple elements from the list, you can use slicing. So at the statement in line number 10, print L1 of zero, L1 of zero will assess a element at index zero, which is one, and it will be printed on the user screen. In the next statement, L1 of minus one will assess the last element from the string, which is Python and using the print statement, it will be printed on the user screen. And if you want to assess the sub list of the list, for example, in this case, we want from element one till element two means 20.50 and false. We started with index number one, which is inclusive and index number three, which is exclusive. Therefore, 20.50 and false will be written and directly printed on the user screen. List are mutable means we can change the value stored inside the list. So in the first example, we are changing the element at index zero, which was one previously by 100. So L1 in the square bracket, index zero is equal to 100. This will be stored uh, at the index position zero, means one will be changed to 100. And we are printing the list on the user screen. You can add an element to the list using the append method. So when you run l1.append, data science will be added to the end of the list and we will print the list on the user screen. You can add a sub list to a list. So in the next example, we are using l1.append and we are appending a sub list by passing it as an argument. We are appending 10, 20, 30 sub lists at the end of the list L1 and printing the list L1 on the user screen. We can also remove the last element of the list using list method pop. So when you write L1.pop, 10, 20, 30 will be removed from the list. And when you print L1, the modified list will be printed on the user screen. Let's check the output. Right, right, right click on the VS Code Console and click on run file in terminal. So this file will execute and you will get the output on the user screen. So you can see the list was created 120.5 false Python element at index zero is one element at last index is Python. We have assessed 20 point by n false. Now we add, um, we printed the list on the user screen. We appended the element data science at the end of the list. We appended a sub list at the end of the list, which is 10, 20, 30. And using the pop method, we removed 10, 20, 30 and the modified list was printed on the user screen. Therefore you have the output 120.5 false Python and data science. That's it for this video.